This pastor snapped in his sermon. Most of the time, our churches want to preach to you a cute version of Jesus. But I'm going to preach today that dangerous version of Jesus. I'm talking about that dangerous side of Jesus that got him killed. That side of Jesus. I'm talking about the side of Jesus where if you preach this accurately, they would stone you or kill you. I'm talking about the type of Jesus that if we were to allow him to grace our pulpits, many pastors would never invite him back. Because his message would contradict the pastor's agenda. Because if Jesus could preach in our churches on today, <laughs> I'm talking about that dangerous Jesus, that version of Jesus that will flip over tables in our lobbies. That's more about a church brand than the Great Commission. That dangerous Jesus that will flip over these royal chairs that be in pulpits, that have pastors acting as though they're celebrities and mini stars instead of ministers. And they care more about gaining followers than making disciples. I'm talking about that Jesus, that, that dangerous Jesus that will flip over tables that's more about church growth than church health. I'm talking about that dangerous side of Jesus that will frustrate those who are gossiping and bad-mouthing about somebody else's sin who went public. Bad-mouthing those who we know their sexual sin, but if truth be told, many of us did the same thing. The only difference is yours wasn't on the shade room. The only difference is yours wasn't recorded and uploaded to OnlyFans. The only difference, y'all don't want to talk to me, will preach against somebody's sex tape and you did the same thing, just it wasn't recorded. That dangerous version of Jesus that will frustrate racists who claim to be Christian, that will frustrate bigots and frustrate sexism, that dangerous side of Jesus that would frustrate injustice judicial systems who say on our money in God we trust and have a Bible in a courtroom that we will put our hands on it to say the truth, but we don't have biblical-based principles to render equality when it comes to verdicts. That Jesus... I'm talking about the side of Jesus that will frustrate the spirit of religion that wants us to look free instead of actually be free. Any place that does not traffic in the love of Jesus, any house that claims to be a church that does not traffic in discipleship and building up one another and loving each other and teaching them sound biblical principles and sound doctrine. That is not a church. That is a business. That is not a church. That is a cult. And our biblical ignorance is a funnel for the false prophet to make profit. 